What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, and I'm back with another video, man. You already know what I need you to do. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, because it does go a long way with helping out the channel. If this is your first time, welcome to Hold My Nuts Podcast, where we talk about everything semen retention and no fat. If you stumbled across this video, it's no accident. I already know why you're here. You're tired of releasing on your keyboards, your laptops, and your desktops. You're tired of being manipulated and dominated by female culture. You are in the right place. If you've already been rocking with your boy, you already know the love is real, man. Without further ado, let's get into this video, man. Outgrow your problems. Outgrow your problems. Outgrow your problems. How are we going to do this? We're going to do this with the power of semen retention. Everybody has problems. I have things I'm dealing with. You have things you're dealing with. Everybody has things, circumstances that they're dealing with, right? Challenges that you have to face on a daily basis. But the challenge of this video, the challenge for you is this is for you to outgrow your problems outgrow your problems outgrow them how do you outgrow your problems by cutting off distractions and by reading by learning this is this is this video is to, is to get you to read get you to read and to study so that you can grow and you can learn you have to outgrow your problems whatever you're dealing with right now that's a major issue for you. And it's causing you a lot of um, stress, it's causing you a lot of whatever, whatever it is, you have to outgrow it, outgrow the problem. The problem is there for you to push you to your next level. Outgrow the problem. Right, come up with a plan to outgrow it. And the best way to outgrow a problem is by learning. You have to learn. You have to acquire knowledge. You have to ask yourself, how can I become better from, um, from this situation? How can I become a better person? How can I become a better man? How can this problem, how can I use this problem to catapult me to the next level. It's extreme, definite, intense focus, right? You have to, you have to be able to go a period of time without experiencing any pleasure. You have to be able to do that. You have to be able to go and experience uh, a time in your life where you are not giving into pleasure so you can acquire the knowledge that you need to acquire and you can outgrow your problem. The best way to do this, guys, is to retain because the energy that you get from retaining the heightened levels of testosterone that you get from retaining the confidence that you get from retaining these things are going to aid you in outgrowing your problems. They're going to aid you in outgrowing your problems. You have to use the life source. You have to use the life source to your advantage. It is a key. It is the key ingredient to you overcoming. So you use that energy from retaining, you use that, you allow that to build, and you acquire knowledge. You have to read books, reading books, reading books, reading books, reading articles. You have to read, you have to read, and you have to study. Whatever your field is, you have to study. How do I become better? Look at your problems right now, whatever you're facing. How do you outgrow the problem to where the problem is not owning you, but now you are owning the problem? How do you do that? 
How do you accomplish that? You have to acquire knowledge. You can read a book. I'll read a book just to get one idea from it. If I can learn one thing from whatever I'm reading, then it was a success. I know I'm not gonna be able to apply or use everything in the book, but I will read books because there might be one thought, there might be one suggestion in this book that is going to change my way of thinking that's gonna help me elevate. I've done this, I do this daily. I'm reading something daily, that's just what I do, right? And I can tell you 100% facts, no cap, I have accomplished a lot in a very short period of time from just focusing on acquiring information, reading books and watching YouTube videos on different topics that I'm interested in, primarily finance, you know, investing and things of that nature. I'm into that type of stuff, right? And then also I'm into, um, when I was in college, I was a psychology major, right? I didn't pick it because that's what I wanted to do when I was in high school, but my freshman year of college, I took Psych 101, and you know, there was a, I just enjoyed the class because it had a lot of interesting, interesting, interesting things about the mind. And this might be funny, but there was this video they had, the professor had us watching, and this dog, they were doing a narcolepsy test on animals. And they were just talking about narcolepsy, how you just fall asleep wherever you go. You know what I mean? There's no build up. There's no getting tired. You just, boom, you're asleep. And they were conducting these tests on these, uh, these, these dogs. And they had this one particular dog and the dog had narcolepsy. So they were showing the video, man. And um, the dog was just running around. <laughs> it was just running around playing, having a good time. And it just, it just fell into a deep sleep, <laughs> like, like instantly. And I couldn't stop laughing, man, I know that's bad. But it, it was just so abrupt. Like he, he was just running around barking and it, it just fell asleep. And you know, uh, I said, you know what? I'm gonna do psychology as my major. Um, cause it was just interesting, man. But I like to read books, you know, um, I used to do a lot of apologetics where I used to defend the existence of God against atheists. Not so much lately. Um, you know, I just don't have the time to do that. But basically what I'm trying to get you guys to understand is you have to outgrow your problems and you do that by reading. You do that by acquiring knowledge. Right, you have to read books, man. And use semen retention to do this. A lot, of, a lot of times, man, you know, you can have this energy build up, but you can waste the energy doing stuff that's not beneficial for you. Practicing semen retention alone doesn't necessarily guarantee you success. You still have to have a form of discipline to put the energy to good use. You can use that energy to go off and, you know, try to find girls. Um, and you will be successful because female attention will give you the necessary confidence and the energy and whatever you need to go over and do that. But then you'll be, you know, putting yourself back in the same situation that led you to semen retention in the first place, right? Or you can use the energy to really bog down and focus, you know, enhance your diet, stay consistent on your workouts and read and read and read and then block yourself off from all the other distractions the noise of the whole world everybody's out there partying everybody's out there living their best life but i'm telling you like nipsey hustle said you don't know who's swimming naked until the tide comes in and that tide's gonna come the tide is coming you don't know who's swimming naked until the tide comes in so don't be distracted by what everybody else is doing they live in their best life whatever good for them right keep the focus on you and every day figure out how can i outgrow this problem how can i become better you know um my man jim rome said this 
Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were, wish you were better. Don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. And that's what I try to live by, man. You get some challenging moments, but if you can enhance your mental state, you can enhance your emotional state, and you can allow those problems to make you mentally stronger, um, uh, you know, uh, unbreakable, right? You know, you, <laughs> you can bounce back. You can, you know, you just have a different perspective. Allow the problem to elevate you because that's what it's for. The problem is there to elevate you, to put you in the next level of where you need to be. This is hold my nuts, man. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you feel about this video. Let me know if this video was a blessing to you, man. I'm going to holler at you guys in the next one. Peace.